Hey you guys, this is Rise Up TV. I'm Hope Jordan and here today I have the gentleman of Joyous Wolf. Hey, I'm Robert. I play drums. Hey, I'm Nick and I sing. I'm Blake and I play guitar. I'm Greg and I play bass. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, I only <laughs> I only got to see, I think it was you two at the acoustic session. Oh, really? Okay. By the way, that was, um, I mean, you, you guys gave me goosebumps. That was, I genuinely, I was like, all right, this man has to play at my wedding. It was, it was that incredible. You yeah. To play at your wedding? I, I, literally, it, that's, that's, that's the voice favorite. that you have. It was just so, it was so full. I was like, man, like, I don't, $2? Two, two yeah. Do I hear $5? No, $2. <laughs> but then, I, none of you guys were at the, um, the acoustic session because they said that you guys don't like to play acoustic stuff. Is no, this true? That's not true. Is we, this true? We, we do. Yeah, I mean, we just be, if they won't say it. All right. The reason why they weren't here is because their hair took so long. Look how great this man's hair is. Look at this. It's incredible. Anywho, um, so I did a little bit of homework on you guys, and the first song that had popped up was Mountain Men yeah. with um, the music video. By the way, you are just a natural born, very, very theatrical performer, all of you guys, but there was just so much soul. I don't know if it was like a cinematography or just you guys doing your thing, but tell me a little bit about that and why that was the song to, to have the music video. Um, I mean, we just, it was like the. F we played it for the first, like second time ever at the Viper Room, and people seemed to like it. And we were just like, "Oh, that was interesting." People clapped. That was weird, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. and no one was like snapping or anything. No, no, no. It was yeah. Claps. People like seemed to like it. And we're like, we should record that as a single, which was funny because the song was sort of like a joke, you know. Really? How yeah. Was the joke? We just sort of like made it. And we're like, this would be funny. Like, I mean, it was. It, we all we made it in like 15 minutes. It was like yeah, that song yeah. was really in 15 minutes. Yeah. That's is that how I guess your your whole album is. No, 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 actually, no, just no. That one. no, just no, that. Yeah. That was the was like one thing. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I really want you guys to have more 15-minute singles now. I feel like. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be a hell yeah. Long. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. It makes it much simpler for our record label too. Well, I guess in today's day and age, you know, talking about, um, you know, time spans for albums to come out, it's usually that two-year, you know, time frame to where it's like, all right, like put the album out. Uh, you know, you're still touring on what the new album. Do you guys like? Are you gonna fall into that, or are you guys kind of gonna be unorthodox? I'm like, no, we're 15-minute singles. I, f I think I honestly, I mean, we're, we're making a record. We're making a record. We want to make. We want to be a record band. That's kind of how we work. We want to make it little experiences inside an album, and. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, we just, I, I think it'll just honestly be like if we honestly went on tour for like this record and it was right after the tour and we were all not, you know, like we need to take a, a couple of weeks off or something and we're like, want to go make another record? We totally would, you know, yeah. just be like, okay, fine, let's do yeah. it again. Now, for the Carolina Rebellion viewers that are currently at home that couldn't be here today, um, where are you guys at right now on your tour? Where can they find you next? Um, check online, joyouswolf.com slash tour. Uh, what's the next day we're going to do? Illinois, yeah, we're going to be in May Illinois. 8th. Yeah, right, yeah. We're at Blacktop Mojo. Okay. Yeah, where is it? Where's it at? Mojo. Are we at uh, The Forge, is that what it is? Yeah. Yes, The Forge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The Forge in Illinois. So now you guys are from California, or you guys moved there together with the band, or how did that all play out? We're all from Orange County, California. Okay, so now do you feel like just, you know, growing He's up in... actually from Michigan, from Michigan, but he moved there yeah. later, yeah. But I've lived there for a long time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but you still consider it home, California. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm from Michigan. Oh, you yeah. I thought you were like, there was, okay. <laughs> so, being in California, do you guys feel like just, I guess, the lifestyle there, the people there, has any influences on your music, or even like the, the, loca the local scene, per se, you know? No. Oh, it, hugely it, influences us. Yeah, Absolutely. yes, it influences, yeah. Us, influences us, us to not be like it. Out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> To go the opposite direction. Yeah. That's good. And you need those people to where it's like, I'm going to watch and observe what you do and not do that. Thank you. So. You need totally the people fair. to be mean to you, to be yeah. like, okay, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. So I know you guys, there's another band here that actually grew up in the same town as you guys. Um, That's right. Oh, yeah, Them Evils. Yeah, yeah Them yeah. Evils as well. So have you guys uh, played any shows together or like yeah. growing up? We time, came yeah. up around the same time. When yeah, we, 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 started, shows we started gigging back home. They showed the up. They yeah. showed up too. Yeah. It was a, incredible. There were like no rock bands where we were, and then suddenly there was like five, and it was like, oh, all right. Yeah. They, did, they they already had their own thing, yeah, and then we, we yeah. kind of found it. We're like, yeah. oh shit, 
Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, we kind of yeah. work out together. Yeah. Yeah. So now, listening to your music, it's it's one of those things where I'm like, man, like I really, I'd want to buy your music on a, like a cassette or like a vinyl. And I don't know why I'd want to say that, if that made sense. I, my parents recently just bought me, um, it was a vinyl, uh, I mean a record player to play vinyls, but it also plays cassettes, CD players, Bluetooth, every form of music you can plug into it and I'm sitting here thinking like okay and now in today's day and age like people aren't really getting CDs they're streaming how do you guys feel about like what genre of music or what would you get for a cassette or a vinyl or a CD I, I feel like it, it it's that the whole like they don't buy CDs is kind of not true okay. I think that it's just you just got to make a record that's worth buying Definitely. and a lot I know nowadays like with most music it's like uh, you know it's just the single game like they just throw singles out like not, you know, people are making record like in the pop music side of things, they're making less and less r records because, it's awesome. and then when they do release a record, it's like okay, you have that song, and now we're gonna make try to make inferior versions of that song for the whole record. Definitely, yeah. we're gonna yeah. put it on this radio station, and stream it there. And yeah. Yeah. Out yeah. There. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of cookie cutter like when you have a bunch of singles and they get really popular, and you're like, oh man, I want to listen to the album and have a whole experience, and then the rest of the album is just like, wait, what? Yeah. It's what, like they, what's going on? They gave up after the first two songs or yeah. something, and then everything else is kind of like filler, you yeah. know? Definitely. Like a great example of that not happening is Gojira's newest record. Oh, yeah. We yeah. play that record all the time. The first time we ever played it, we didn't turn it off. It just kept going. So yeah. awesome. Because yeah. we're like, wow. It was so good. That's a yeah. kill it's killer from beginning to end. Anyone and it, could enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. And you, it's Except a hardcore boy, metal band, and they are just yeah. They they just made a and I'm not familiar. What was the name of the band? Gojira. 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 They're on Roadrunner. I'll definitely be checking you guys out later. So, <laughs> but um, so yeah, for, I mean, for any of you guys, like, who's your go-to? Like, oh, I have to have this like artist on a vinyl or on a cassette. Oh, like, how do you guys like? You know, are like, oh, I'm gonna get their CD instead. Like, I mean, with convenience, we're always gonna stream things. You know, like, yeah. but if, exactly. But yeah. honestly, I'd rather have any. If I could have it on vinyl, I'll have it. You know, if I like it, I'll I'll have it. You know, if it's available. You know, I have everything from like Jack White's like last record. Yeah, to, that was like, really cool. Yeah, yeah, that was that was cool. Yeah. That was that was yeah. awesome of him to make that. Yeah. Thing. And and like everything from that to like you know old ones I've found in the in okay, the record so you guys shops. Like old school stuff, like with the vinyl. Well, any anything anything that's av if it's available, I want it. You know, Definitely. I feel like I feel like yeah. it's a proper medium to listen to the music. You know. Definitely. Definitely. So, is there like a, a movement as a band or a, as individuals that you guys um, are currently with that you know the viewers at home that we could help spread the word about? Or a little shout out to anyone? I feel like there's a little bit of a. A new wave of, of, of rock music. I've seen a couple bands like, you know, there's like Tyler Bryant and uh, the Shakedown. Yeah. I think they're a newer group, and uh, and there's a couple of more that we've seen kind of kicking around. Like uh, uh, we have some back home as a band called Of Limbo that uh, was gonna be on this tour with us, but uh, some things happened. Yeah. And yeah, actually, I want to say uh, uh, they got into a really bad car accident. If you're watching this, uh, our, our link on our uh, Instagram at Joyce Wolf Music is for their GoFundMe. They have a crazy medical bill. Uh, donate five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you want. So anything helps them out. Just want to throw that in there for a band called Of Limbo. They have a record. It's called Nicotine. It's the best rock record awesome. you've never heard. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It's so dumb how good it is. Honestly. They're our they're our favorite band by far. Yeah. They really yeah, are. Definitely. Yep. And they're our best friends in the whole world. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. You guys, they're not from the, they are they're from Long Beach, Long California. Beach. Yeah. So they're one of the bands that you're like, yes. okay, you guys are good. We're well, like, it was, yeah. they, without, the thing is, without them, we wouldn't even be here right now because yeah. they were the first guys to kind of pick us up. They already had a crowd, and they just, but like, they were, there was no ego. They were just yeah. like, we yeah. love you guys, please come play. No, and I can tell you know? the same thing about you guys. Just yeah. very, very humble, and just like the way that you carry yourself, and you guys aren't, you know, like, so, and I think that's one thing I appreciate about and that people get mixed up with rock and roll is that you have to have this, you know, like sex drugs and like grinding on the road yeah. life type yeah, thing. No. We, we don't that, follow that at all. Yeah, you know, that's you, back in the 70s yeah, yeah. where it should belong. 80s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sunset Strip, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's really overrated. You know, we're, 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 all, we're, we're all focused. Like music is first, always, you know, no matter what yep. we do. You know, and that coincides with everything, whether it's I think our lives. That's, that's an important step for the new like age of rock. It doesn't have it doesn't yeah. have to be the cliche sex drugs rock and roll. Just play rock music, have a good time. That's it. Yeah. Ignore Absolutely. all the cliches. Do your own thing. Yeah. And do backbends while you do it. So <laughs> um so you already predicted what how it works Pretty much that's you know it's what I do. 
But um, so are one of you guys are all obviously you know very talented music uh, musicians. But is there any? He's like, eh, we dabble. It's okay. You know, we we bang on our bang on our drums. <laughs> is there any like weird unorthodox talents that you guys might have? That we're call them out. Even if like, oh man, I hope they don't say anything. Call them out. Do it. Um, what? Any weird talents? Any? Greg's really good at Mario Kart. I'm extremely good at Mario Kart. I will beat you. I will beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Look how giant his hands are. Yeah. <laughs> it's all. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, That's the secret tech. <laughs> um, I can do voices. Oh, like do, do, do your crystal wall. Okay. Alright, do you hold the mic? Okay. No, he's wait, talking wait. about bananas. I think I need to like... He's and how much he likes potassium. <laughs> you know, I love bananas. They make everything so good. I mean, wow, I can't believe it. Why are you trying to do this to me? Why? <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, I wish you would have done like, I'm going to hit him in the head with a, like, a sod nine. But, uh... <laughs> I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen. Well, if there's anything else that you'd like to say to our viewers, um, go ahead. Anything else? Uh, check out our stuff online, joyouswolf.com. It's got everything on it. Music videos, music to buy. Check out our single Mountain Man's on Spotify. Go play it two million times. Yeah. Just put it on the automatic replay, press play, go to work, and just leave it there all day. Fine. Yeah, you'll be great. Tired of it? Do it in reverse. Yeah. Change it. <laughs> put it in audacity. Change the key. It's a hidden song, but play it backwards. Yeah, if you play it backwards, you're gonna you're gonna hear like some some. Yeah. Awesome devil stuff. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly, yeah. If you play it in reverse, it's just the entire uh, Huey Lewis album sped up. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Oh, no, I thought it was random dance. Random dancing. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Rise Up. I'm rising up to meet the dawn again. The darkness ends. I'm lifting my hand to breathe in my own.